Okay, today we're going to be working with clay. So, we're going to try to make some ceramic or clay flowers for spring. And then maybe we can give them as a gift. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our clay. Like about just a little bit. Probably a third and set it to the side. That's gonna be for our leaves, okay? The rest of this we're gonna use for our petals. So, you wanna grab little handfuls and you can roll them into balls. So, you want a few different sized ones. They don't have to be perfectly, they don't have to be perfect spheres, but you just want a few of them, okay? So let's get, and if there's some bigger ones and some smaller ones, that's okay too. They don't have to be perfectly the same. So maybe I'll make some smaller ones. So as you're making your spheres, these are going to be your petals. I'll show you how to make them into petals. And as you notice, I'm kind of making them from small to big. So as you arrange them, you want to arrange them from small to big. So this one's kind of like in the middle. And these don't have to be perfect, like I said. Okay. Maybe I'll make some smaller ones. So I'm going to want about 10 of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, one more. That perfect amount. 10. Now, if you don't have enough for 10, grab a little bit from there or maybe make your balls a little, your little clay spheres a little smaller, okay? So we got our 10 spheres. Now, I try to put mine in order, kind of from smallest to biggest. And the reason that we do that is because the rose petals in the middle are going to be the smallest and as the flower opens, the petals get bigger, okay? So then, there's two ways that we can do this. You can just press it flat with your finger, like that. And you wanna make sure it has, see about that much, see how thick that is? Make sure it's about the same thickness the whole way around, okay? And you're gonna make it into like a little and they don't have to be perfect because remember, they're going to be the petals. So there's my first one. You could also roll it. We all got rolling pins. Okay? And remember, you want to keep them a little bit thicker so that way the petals don't break. So see the thickness there? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack them slowly. But kind of right beside each other. So I'm going to put this one on top of the last one. Now, to make it stick, there's something we call score marks. So before I attach it, these little lines, and I'm going to make the little dots or little lines about halfway through my clay. About halfway. Those are score marks. I'm going to make it where it attaches to score marks little dots or something and that helps your clay attach and I used a little bit of water look one finger that's it put a little bit of water on there and then attach it and you should be able to move it back and forth a little bit and it stays on so I wiggled it and it's sticking I'm gonna do the next one so I think it's easier just to press them down with my fingers but you can do it however you want press Press, score marks halfway, score marks halfway, just a few, one finger of water, press it, okay, and you're going to keep doing that the whole line of the rows, so take your time. I'm going to keep doing mine, and you can follow along. You can start making your spheres. But remember, each time, score marks. So this just helps your clay attach. 
Okay? And sometimes you might want to pick it up and make sure it's still pulled. It. It's nice and attached. So you can choose but all the things to remember. Thickness. You can use different tools. Score marks halfway. Score marks halfway. One finger of water. You don't want your clay to be too wet because it will all fall apart. Okay, and do you see how I have it in a nice line? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep it in a decent sized line. So, still working. And if it's thin in an area, that's okay. This one got a little bit thinner. That's okay. You just don't want it too thin. And you don't want it too thick. Kind of right in the middle. One hand of water. Stop. So the water is kind of like a glue. And you don't want you don't want a lot of water on your mat because if you get a lot of water on your mat, your clay will stick to your mat and then it's going to be really hard to roll your rows. Four and four. Water attached. And don't worry, if you have some score marks that show on the inside, that's okay because you won't be able to see those. Finger. Nice. And my rose is almost complete. I'm on my last sphere. Making it nice. And even kind of like a pancake remember your score marks score marks attach it there you go okay here's your rows this nice long row now this is the fun part to make your rows you're gonna start curling and rolling your rows together. So see how I'm rolling it? Perfect. Now, ta-da, there's a, and you can kind of look at it. Maybe you like one side better than the other. I kind of like this side. So the side that you want to be on the top, you're going to Try to smooth all of these pieces together on the bottom. Ta-da. And then if you want to move some of these petals out, you can kind of bend them a little bit. And there is our beautiful rose. Okay? Now you saved this clay. What do you think we saved this clay for? Oh, some leaves. So... Now you get to, if you have extra time, you can sculpt some petals, some leaves, I mean. Now remember, before you attach them, you want to add texture to make them really pretty. So. So there's a leaf. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you can use your tools. I add some texture in my leaf. Because remember, leaves have veins, so you can add all kinds of different veins. Okay? I'm going to do a second leaf. I want to make my second one a little smaller. So all I'm doing is kind of pinching the top of the leaf. And you can shape your leaf however you want. It does not have to, leaves are not perfect. So you got to do it your own way. And Okay, last thing. 
We're going to attach all these pieces together. Remember, score marks. And I'm going to kind of see where I want my rows to be. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Sorry. So I put some score marks on my, my leaf. And I'm going to like kind of place how I want my rows to be on my leaves. So I kind of like it there. So I'm going to put some score marks here. And then a few on the bottom. Now be careful, you don't want to mess up your rows on the top. One finger of water. I'm going to add one finger of water. One finger of water. And squish it down. Okay? Then you can kind of be careful with your rows. You don't want to mess it up. And on the bottom of your leaves, while you're holding your rows gently, look, I'm holding it gently on the sides. This is the last part. You can write your name. E C C I. Okay. So that's your signature. Okay. And then if anything got messed up, you can kind of fix it now. And maybe you give more details to your. And that's now time's fine tuning. Right before cleanup.